guys, this sucks. <laughs> so the Gladiator's on a flatbed. It's going out to Jeep. Um, not to get traded in or sold. Unfortunately, it's not even running, not starting. Uh, bad gas, maybe, some water in the gas. Um, it's just turning over, cranking, but it's not turning over. It's cranking, but not turning over. So uh, we got it on a flatbed. We're going to send it to Crossler Christ Jeep. See what's going on. Well, so got some bad news on the Gladiator. Turns out that there was water in the fuel. Um, not sure how much water got into the engine. Um, they did call me today and said they're gonna have to drain the tank and all the lines, put new gas in it. Hopefully it starts, hopefully it runs. They're charging me uh, four hours worth of labor at $165 an hour. It's quite a bit, but uh, the dealership pretty much had me by the nuts because I, unless I wanted to have it towed somewhere else, gotta kind of pay it. So um, a couple things happened while it was at the dealership though. Um, they were looking at the truck and they know the truck. They, they've seen me uh, do things to the truck and build it up. And um, I've been to that dealership for a few things here and there. So they uh, said, look, um, what about trading it in? We have, uh, we have somebody that wants a Gladiator Mojave and we can probably sell it for a pretty good price. So what about uh, if we give you an offer on it on a trade-in? I like my Gladiator, man. <laughs> I didn't really want to get rid of it. Uh, but again, much like the Corvette, it was a, a price and offer I couldn't really refuse. And I had a pretty good uh, amount of equity into it. Um, decent amount of equity, I guess you'd say. So I said, well, look, if I'm gonna trade it in, I'm gonna get something that I don't have to make a payment on, right? I'm gonna get something that I can pay outright, fully outright with the, um, the equity in the Gladiator and not have a car payment like I did with the Corvette when I got the Mustang. So I said, well, what do you guys have on the lot that might, might interest my, peak my interest that um, is basically, a, basically I could pay for with the equity in the Gladiator. So they, uh, they showed me a pretty nice Toyota Prius. Just kidding, completely kidding. It's not a Toyota Prius, uh, it's not, but uh, I did. I will show you guys what I ended up getting. Uh, I did trade in the Gladiator um, because a few reasons. One, even if they fix the Gladiator, there's nothing saying that there wouldn't be any lingering issues with uh, the engine because of the the situation with the water and um, the. I just a few reasons. The Jeep was really really tall. All my family members uh, were having a hard time getting in and out of it. Um, Gas mileage was about 15 and a half miles per gallon. And so that along with the $500 a month payment for the next six years, I was just like, you know what? It'd be nice to not have a car payment for a while and be completely debt free. So um, I did. And this, and I, I ended up getting something that's gonna suit me a little bit better for what I need. And you guys may freak out a little bit and I might lose some people from the channel, I'm sorry. But uh, this is not a long-term thing. Uh, if you guys know me, I don't keep cars very often. So, you know, in a year or so, or maybe shorter, I'll end up getting something else that's kind of fancy and, uh, and nice. And you guys can um, follow along with that. But uh, there's still the Mustang on the channel. So don't forget that if you guys are here for the bullet content, it's still here and I got a lot coming on that. So without further ado, let's turn the camera around and show you guys what I got. And there it is. So it's a uh, Jeep Grand Cherokee Limited Edition. It's got navigation. Um, rides super smooth um, it's it's a nice vehicle it really is uh, it's got a lot of pick up pick up and go this is a v6 not the v8 um, but uh, I bought this in cash guys this is paid off in cash with the equity I had on the gladiator so this is what I'll be driving now for the next year um, it still fits five people you get great gas mileage for road trips uh, still four-wheel drive still navigation Great sound system, plenty of pickup and go, great gas mileage, like I said. So this is what it is. So let me show you guys it, what it looks like. All right, guys, so let's uh, let's open it up and check it out. It's got the proximity uh, keyless entry. So let me turn on the radio here so we don't get, there we go. So we said it's got the navigation, leather seating, heated seats, heated steering wheel, um, heated seats in the rear as well. 
So there's the rear with the console that folds down. This thing's in immaculate condition, guys. Uh, really nice condition. No scratches, no dents, no issues. See the back, back there. Plenty of room for the dog to go back there and go places. We can still go camp and fold the seats down, sleep in the back of the Grand Cherokee. Right, see, it's got the USB ports, the 12, 15 volt, 115 volt. It's got the uh, heated seats back here. Uh, really good condition, like I said. Um, I like it. it. It drives really nice, and uh, I think I'm going to enjoy, enjoy it for a while. So that's what I'll be driving. A completely paid off vehicle, which is the first time in my life I've ever had no car payment. I haven't had a car payment. So uh, a couple things that are going to happen with this. The uh, mirror caps are getting painted black. I'm not a huge fan of all the chrome on it, but I don't want to go crazy trying to cover up all the chrome. Um, the handles will probably get turned black at some point. The trim ring will stay probably chrome. Uh, chrome down here will stay. The wheels I'm fine with for now. Like I said, guys, I'm not trying to like lift it and put tires on it and you know cold air intake and exhaust systems and or even lower it and all that stuff. So this is what it is, guys. This is this is how it's gonna basically be. Cover up the mirror caps and windows are already tinted, so I ain't gotta worry about tinting the windows. Um I have seen some uh people tint the taillights, so I'm probably gonna tint the taillights back here a little bit. Uh tint the reflectors down here um that's it's not a whole lot more take off this sticker from the dealership down here at the bottom um but yeah so there it is so a lot more content to come with the uh the bullet i will post some things on this some reviews how i'm liking it so on and so forth and the things i do to it but it's not going to get a lot of a lot of stuff so if you guys have any uh comments about how to um or what I should do to it, let me know. Please don't dislike the video just because you dislike my decision. Um, like the video and always subscribe, please. Um, but check it out. And uh, again, a lot of people, they dislike the videos because they don't like my decisions on trading in a vehicle. It happened when I traded in the Corvette. It was one of my most disliked videos. <laughs> uh, usually I don't get any dislikes. So, But yeah, please, please like the video, not dislike the video. But there it is, guys. So... I'll clean it up, get it polished up, do some detailed videos on it maybe, but there it is. So take care. Thanks, guys. We'll see you. Bye.